Also today, investigators are now denying reports that several unexploded bombs were found near the scene. President Obama, meanwhile, has ordered flags to fly at half-staff in honor of the victims until sunset on Saturday. Several New Mexico runners who were there during the bombings are now on their way home, all able to get their IDs back and get on their scheduled flights. But many remain in Boston. They say the city is coming back to life in some areas. In others, it's a whirlwind of activity, as authorities still try to figure out how this happened. Runner Beth Ulavari crossed the finish line just five minutes before the blast. She spent the next few hours witnessing the chaos that followed. Then the quiet. This morning, a much different sight. Things are seeming to get back to normal. People are back out on the streets. Um, the cars are, you know, on the roads. It seems a lot busier, like a regular, you know, business work day. Even though we're only, you know, less than a mile from the finish line where we're at, things seem to be getting back to normal with a little bit of, you know, a heaviness, um, it seems. Ulavari plans to head closer to the bombing site today. Unclear how close she'll be able to get. Local runner Arlene Espinosa is already there. This morning has just been a lot of helicopters, um, tons of just newscasters, um, just a lot of media surrounding every single hotel that's basically around the perimeter of the finish line, which is where we're at. Espinosa is working to get back to New Mexico tonight. Ulavari will be there at least until tomorrow. She says she's stricken the most by the camaraderie she's seeing on the streets of Boston. People all over are wearing their race shirts, whether they're from Boston or other, you know, marathons or races that they've done. So the running community is incredibly resilient um, and, you know, more determined to, um, you know, kind of stand up against this type of, you know, violence and action. Well, Lavadi says, well, scary, what happened yesterday won't deter her. You still have to, you know, live your life and there will always be, you know, evil people doing, you know, bad things. But um, I have my next marathon scheduled the end of May in California and fully plan on being there. And if I uh, can qualify to run Boston again, um, hopefully I'll be back next year. Many of the New Mexico runners were planning on running in the New York City Marathon. That has been canceled.